What is going on guys? It is Power Bang. Welcome to today's Brawl Stars video. Got a little bit of a unique episode in store today. We're going to be looking at some Ricochet gameplay going on in the background. If you guys are looking for uh, the next coolest thing in Bounty Game Mode, Ricochet could be that for you. He's an absolute monster especially after receiving the latest hit point buff. Uh, Ricochet's received two buffs now. He first had the extra bullet assigned earlier on uh, in this game's life cycle, and then he got the hit point buff here about three or four days ago. So he's looking really, really strong right now, and you'll see in this game, uh, I don't know if I let my teammates get any kills. Just absolutely steamrolled with Ricochet, so really fun stuff. But the theme of today's video, guys, we saw uh, the same questions in the comments over and over and over. When's this game coming out for Android? Have you guys heard that before? Uh, when is this game being released globally? When's it going to be in my country, etc., etc., etc.? I want to know as well on the Android stuff. I, I, I'm an Android guy, right? So I would really like to get an answer on that. And speaking of answers, I want you guys to tell me what your biggest questions are for Supercell. What do you want to know about Brawl Stars when it comes to uh, the development of the game, uh, the direction that the game's going? Obviously, there's the softball questions, guys, like when is this going to be coming out on Android? When is this going to be released globally? Those are the, the gimmies, right? Uh, I'm going to be flying out to Finland tomorrow. And the reason for my trip is, together with Clash with Ash, we are going to be interviewing the developers of the Brawl Stars game and hopefully finding out some answers and finding some more information about what this game's gonna look like in a couple of uh, months, years, who knows. I don't know if it's coming out globally, guys, but um, I gotta say that, you know, being invited out to Supercell to talk about the game uh, for me, I feel is a pretty positive sign. Now, I want you guys to help contribute to the questions that I ask, and, um, you know, Ash and I will look over those and see if uh, there's some that we haven't thought of, perhaps pick the best of what's left in the comments. So make sure you guys, you know, think about it, like, deeply, and make sure when you ask your questions, don't just, uh, you know, rattle off, when's X gonna be fixed? Like, be specific, like, what about X needs to be fixed, and why do you think that way? So, uh, you know, there's some obvious things that are, I'm going to touch on. Uh, Android Global uh, Showdown Teaming, that's probably going to be a popular subject. Uh, I don't want to give you guys too many ideas, I, I want you guys to think on it, and let me know again in the comments what you guys want to hear about, what you want to see. Um, we will do our best to get as much information as we possibly can out of Supercell and deliver that to you guys um, at a later date. So that being said, um, you know, we are flying out tomorrow uh, to go be uh, in Finland, interview the devs, uh, but that does not necessarily mean that the video is going to be out tomorrow. Uh, so just be patient, it will be out in the near future. Um, but I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to even interface with the development team, get their take on what is uh, going on uh, internally, what their plans are, what they're seeing as far as, you know, uh, player engagement, interaction, and, and how they feel like, you know, game balance is. And for me, uh, some of the biggest things that I want to know about it are what's to come. Like, what other game modes are there? Uh, what else is going to suck me in and get me addicted to this ridiculous game that we all love? So. Let's go ahead, focus our attention on the gameplay, guys. Uh, while you're watching, make sure you guys think of a comment, leave it in the uh, the comment section below. I will be reading them all, and I want to take you know the best uh, suggestions and go ahead and hopefully put those into the video uh, of the interview that we do with Supercell. So, as you saw in that first match, Ricochet, absolute monster. I think uh, my Shelly got one kill towards the end, but other than that, it was a one-man show. He is a monster, dude. This one's a little bit closer. Um, Piper is always a little bit difficult because she lands two shots on you, you're done. So you gotta make sure you're able to, you know, duck, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge a little bit. So that's what we tried to do. You can see here, uh, it got a little bit close towards the end, but essentially just trying to, you know, suppressing fire. One thing I like to do with Ricochet is just keep up the fire and make it to where they can't advance. You can see I picked one off off the screen. Um, his range is such that you can actually guess like popular positions and never reveal yourself and you can really kind of uh, do a number on him from a long, long way away. So 
I do die there. That was pretty stupid. Um, I didn't. I thought that my guys were gonna take out Shelly, but that, that wasn't the case. But I should have been a little bit more defensive there. This got a little bit close. Uh, the watch the watch this poor shooting at the end here. I fire somehow miss uh, Piper, and luckily she didn't get a shot off. But it's okay. We did get the win, 25-24. Woo! Okay, so this this map here, I believe this is uh, Shooting Star, I want to say it's called. Um, this is one of the most interesting bounty maps in the game, in my opinion. And simply because there is no cover at all, it's just a complete range fest. Like, oh my god. Uh, anyway, picking off uh, Colt from a distance there, also getting uh, Piper taken out. Piper, our Piper, finishing her off. And again, you can see like the suppressing fire. These can't, These guys can't do anything. Make sure when you're playing Ricochet that you always look at the angle, look at the uh, look at the walls, and try to attack your opponent to where they have to run into your fire in order to peek you and get those shots off, or uh, you know let them feel like they're safe a little bit. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna end up firing off the super there, trying to basically just survive because Piper and Brock were pressuring. He went up a little bit. Something that I could probably do more of when playing Ricochet, I don't heal a lot because it's so addicting just laying down a hailstorm of bullets. So, um, as you can see, 200 hit points here, and I'm, I'm still firing. Why not? Uh, we got a little uh, approach here going on Piper. We get her down to 246. One more shot. We just need one more to, uh, to take her out. Um, one thing, guys, when you're firing off your super, too, with, uh, with Ricochet... Try to do it at an angle that's going to clip more than one player on the battlefield. You see there how I used the wall um, to make sure that Colt was going to get shot if he advanced and if he tried to retreat. Um, so there you see that angle that I was talking about firing across the battlefield, able to take out two of the guys. Um, one of my guys finishes him off, and then we've got Piper pinned down. And I'm like, like an idiot. I charge in there. I don't know what I was doing. I got it. I got a little uh, kill horish. The first couple of games had gone super well and I was like you know what ricochet is invincible no he's not he's not invincible guys so uh don't 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 charge in like an idiot like I just did so anyways uh taking out Piper from range there that was pretty sweet and then right here you kind of have an understanding where cold is going to be going and you can pretty much guess so unfortunately teammates unable to finish him off uh Piper again not a match for this particular ricochet Piper normally though uh, can be pretty tough and again you can see the deflections there off the wall proving to be pretty tough there I do get the kill on Brock Piper evens it out very quickly and now it's just a matter of can we hold this one point lead for another five seconds nice shot there from Mori and uh, that is going to do it Brock gets off the super but it is too late and we escape with another victory so Ricochet is a beast Let's go ahead and check out another one here. Uh, we got Piper on our team this time, as well as Colt. One thing I always like to do in the beginning, you see me shooting those bones there. That is a, a very popular, like, get out of dodge spot a little bit later on. Um, I try to kill this Shelly there, seven hit points, and I finally take her out off the screen. And then uh, we've got a problem here. This Mortis is coming for me hard. We get him <laughs> taken out. I have 74 hit points left, but we do survive. Piper kind of saves me there. And then I notice Ricochet on the other team has 17, somehow avoids my fire. Uh, and again, I wish I had, uh, say, I, I didn't want to blow my super there. I do kill Mortis, who's trying to attack me. If I had healed up to full before firing at that uh, Ricochet on the other side, Mortis, uh, you know, I wouldn't have had to blow my super to kill him. But, yeah, it is what it is. So it looks like uh, all of the teammates here, I am playing randoms, guys. This isn't a, a pre-made group or anything like that. All of them holding their weight pretty much. This is one of the first games I could say that that happened when I was playing. Uh, Rampa and MCP doing a great job here. You know, each of them getting, uh, you know, several kills apiece. MCP, though, landing those close-range shots on Mortis was super helpful because I was getting him weak, but I was also, I'm sitting at 226 hit points right now. Um, and while I'd land like two full bursts on Mortis, it wasn't quite enough to kill him. Uh, you can see here, uh, nice play by Mortis. That was actually really impressive. He uses the bats, heals up, uh, and pretty much gets a team ace, uh, taking us all out. So I'm trying to get Mortis, chasing him a little bit. We're down by three right now, guys. A minute to go, and we have to get this thing taken care of. So I get, I get Shelly, and we know Mortis is going to attack here pretty quickly. Where is he? Where is he? Coming in from the right. You know he's going after Colt. Yep, Colt's dead. I knew it. I should have helped I should have helped protect him a little bit better. Because, I mean, in hindsight, I can totally see him just setting up there. 
Um, and again, I'm pretty low there. 14 HP. How Shelly does not finish me off there, I have no idea. 19 to 18, and I'm worth two stars. That would have given them the lead. That was a fantastic play. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was a fantastic play by Mortis. So props to him. Fires off the bats to the right and is able to uh, complete me wreck, completely wreck me while I'm hiding in the bushes. He knew that I was low HP. And look at this. We are able to pick up a couple more uh, kills, getting that final margin of victory there. 27-22. Mortis unable to get it done. So Ricochet absolutely monstrous in the bounty mode, guys. Uh, definitely feel like uh, he is revitalized, revamped, etc., etc. So remember, guys, I'm flying out tomorrow. Going to be meeting with the dev team for Supercell. I want to take your questions to them as many as I possibly can. I don't know exactly what the format's going to be like, but we do have the opportunity to interface with them, ask them questions, figure out what the plan is for Brawl Stars, figure out what they're seeing internally, and hopefully learn about some of their insights as to what's to come. So guys, that's all I got for this episode. This is Power Bang. Hit the like button if you liked the video, and make sure you subscribe for more Brawl Stars content. As always, in the description, there is a fantastic Brawl Stars wiki guide if you're looking for more information about the game. Check the top link in the description for that. That's all I got, though, guys. Peace out. This is Power Bang. I'll see you guys on the other side of the pond.